Wow. Why, yes, I'm back on safari. After an 11 hour flight to Tokyo and another 7 to Malaysia, it was time to finally go to bed. Ah, bed. I would awake a few hours later to spend some time sleepwalking in a mall, at the hotel's infinity pool, and while eating some Japanese food. Not too exciting, but today it's good morning Kuala Lumpur and hello Safari Malaysia. Let's kick this one off for the birds by visiting the KL Bird Park. The KL Bird Park is home to over 3,000 birds on a well-landscaped 20 acres of land. The majority of bird species here are local, and we could start seeing some as soon as my camera unfogs due to the heat and humidity. This big bird here is the Victoria Crown Pigeon. At 30 inches long and about 6 pounds, this is the largest species of pigeon in the world. Since they realized I was filming for YouTube, they decided to clean up a little. It seemed everywhere I looked there were birds that I've never seen before. Like this yellow golden pheasant. You can say from the boardwalk I had a bird's eye view of it. This bird turning around for us is one of my favorites, the great hornbill. These birds can have a five foot wingspan, big wings to help it swoop down on small mammals and reptiles to eat. And of course it has an impressive and powerful beak. That protective area around the forehead gives it an appearance of something that flew right out of Jurassic Park. Even in this smaller species, the oriental pied hornbill, it still packs one heck of a punch. You can learn a lot about how the bird is designed to fly or what it eats by looking at it from head to toe, well I guess tail. Let's finish up our hornbill experience with this Asian black hornbill. Another bird we could find in the forests of Malaysia and another reason to try to protect the forest from threats like illegal logging. It's amazing looking at all the different kinds of beaks on all types of birds. Let's check out the world of parrots. Where's the parrots? There they are. Many times parrots enter the legal and illegal pet trade. People don't realize how long they live and how much work it'll be to give them proper care. This is the African Grey Parrot, said to be the smartest parrot of all. A recent report from National Geographic found that since the mid-70s, over a million of these birds have been removed from the wild to be placed onto the pet trade. As an obvious result, their wild populations are dropping. I think this parrot was doing an impression of a bat. And this cool looking bird is also known as a vulturine parrot. You can see why by looking at its head. It's time to move on and look at some of the big flightless birds, like the emu who comes from Australia, which is a few hours away by plane. It would have to take a plane since it's a flightless bird, as well as this ostrich which would come from Africa. A lot of people confuse the two, so here we go. Emu, ostrich. Now let's feed an emu. Oh, ostrich time. And an ostrich. Don't bite my finger. Me looking unsure about the ostrich, but doing it again. Remember, you only want to feed animals at parks and zoos if you are told it's okay and by using their approved food. Uh -oh. This, of course, is a male peacock, a very popular bird. Now, if there was some way of knowing if this place had more birds, oh! This was one of the best aviaries I've ever seen. Even if this bird here freaks me out a little bit. It's nice to take advantage of being able to film these amazing birds up close, like this yellow-billed stork, which would come from Africa. Many times in a while, you wouldn't really want or be able to get this close. This stork didn't seem to mind me being around. All was calm. These guys, I think they had some territorial issues with one another. I finished my day with some eagles. This is actually a Brahmini kite from Australia. Now the kites belong to the same family as eagles do. I gotta say, the KL Bird Park in Kuala Lumpur is a great place to walk around and appreciate birds. And also look at chicks. For more information, read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.